Hi, welcome to NHITM's online classroom. This is how we are going to stay connected in these unprecedented pandemic times. Whether face to face or online, we will surely stay connected. So stay home and stay safe, but keep the learning and the conversation rolling. I am Dr. Moshume Bhattacharji James, your faculty for the course Business Communication and Ethics. Today, we'll start with the topic, emotional intelligence. So let me share my screen. I hope my screen is visible to you. Our topic for today is emotional intelligence. As you can see from this figure, both IQ and EQ make up your personality. They are both important for you. IQ is a term we have been hearing a lot, but EQ or emotional intelligence quotient is a term which is lesser known and people generally don't talk about it. Whereas how important it is, we are going to see in today's classroom. What is EQ? Now, emotional intelligence or EQ is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions. Your reaction to the people around you, people with a high degree of emotional intelligence know what they are feeling, what their emotions mean and how these emotions can affect other people and their performance. IQ we hear about, IQ is a tangible term. It can be expressed in numbers, whereas EQ is abstract. You cannot express in terms of numbers. Emotional intelligence is the ability to identify your emotions and those of the others. It is to self-motivate ourselves and know how to monitor our emotions and those of the people around us. We are staying in a society where the society is the educational institute you are studying, the home or the house where you are staying, or the hostel where you are staying, and the society where your friends are. So it is very important for you to perceive your emotions properly, manage your emotions properly, understand your emotions properly, and then also use your emotions properly. The emotions that we have, the emotions of, what are the emotions we have? Fear is an emotion, happiness is an emotion, anger is an emotion, these are all your our emotions. So self-awareness about these emotions, empathy, empathy means putting yourself in somebody else's place and seeing motivation, self-regulation, social skills, all these make up your emotional intelligence. It is said that IQ relates to hard skills, whereas EQ relates to soft skills. A cluster of personality traits that characterize one's relationship with others. When it comes to happiness and success in your life, emotional intelligence quotient or EQ matters just as much as the intelligence quotient. Where EQ is self-awareness, IQ is logic. Where EQ is self-management, IQ is mathematical reasoning. Where EQ is responsible for decision making, IQ is spatial reasoning. Where EQ is relationship management, IQ is verbal reasoning. Where EQ is social awareness. IQ is memory and recall. Now, research conducted by the Harvard University and the Carnegie Foundation and the Stanford Research Center concluded that 85% of the job success comes from having well-developed soft skills, 
that is related to emotional intelligence and only 15% of the job success comes from your technical skills. Now you see how important emotional intelligence is and this statistics was uh, established very long back in 1918 by the Carnegie Foundation. Carnegie, Dale Carnegie is a very important author. He has published quite a lot of books. So you can pick up one and read. So it is said that your professional success or your success in your career depends largely on your emotional intelligence. Now, let us make it a little interactive. I'll ask you a question and you have to answer. How? It is an interesting method. I would like to show how interesting it is and how we'll manage this. Now here you see a question. By now you must have been aware of what emotional intelligence is. A brief introduction. So emotional intelligence is needed for this is the question. And no, you ha don't have to answer through the chat box. You, It is an innovative method for you, an interactive method for you. So you just go to the site menti.com. Go to the site menti.com and type the code 253202. So when we go to menti.com, there are four answers displayed. Success in career, emotional intelligence is needed for success in career, success in business, social acceptance and all the above. Suppose I select this answer all the above and submit. Wow, look here. It is displayed as a graph. So in class, when all of you vote, all your votes will count and will be displayed here. Is that clear? So isn't it interesting and interactive? So that is all for today's class. See you in the next class.